Alright guys, this is Tarquin coming back with part 15 of A Clash of Kings, and this is basically when we determine whether or not we're going to keep playing this character. This is day 104 for Liar Dark, and as I've said, everyone hates us except Dragonstone, and that is mostly incidental. So, we're going to run along with these Dragonstonian guys. Now, uh, keep in mind that I have no way of getting money right now that I know of. I, uh, I can't access the Wildlings, and all around are enemies, except Dragonstone. Even Bravos is, I think, now an enemy. Yeah. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I think I've made just a terrible mistake. But we're going to go to this place called Summer Pond, and that's how we're going to get a little bit of money. Summer Pond is looted, and it's right over here. So we're going to see if any of the lords that hate us jump us on the way. And it looks like we might get away with this. But I guess we could fight like the main pool patrol if we wanted to. Will they try to hit me? Spend the night with the man. Okay, they will try to attack me, which means we're just going to take the field here, and this battle is pretty much going to determine the fate of this playthrough. We're just going to take the field and see where the chips fall for Lyra Dark and her companions. The first thing we are going to do is get further up this hill. Nothing could be more important than the high ground, especially because we are grossly outnumbered at the moment. But if we can take this spot right here, the archers right there, then maybe it'll work out. And if they won't charge me, I don't care. I will perhaps move my men forward to this hill here. Which is, yeah, just what I'll do. I'll move forward to this also very high ground and hopefully peck away at them with archers until they can't do it. Now, they have 63 men in the battle for 61 of ours, but they do have, I believe, 30 more or so in reserve, which is putting us not in the best position ever. I'm going to tell everyone to come up here. And we don't really want to go any further than that, apparently, because the arrows fly. But we're just going to stay pretty much right here. Okay, the knights are here. Time for the most important battle of Lyra Dark's life. And she's all the way out in front, getting her shield broken. But I really need to do some damage to my enemy here. And apparently they have mounted archers. There's at least one of the horses out from under them. There's another horse down. Okay, that knight has done serious, serious damage to me, but I'm still, I think, doing fine in this battle. Their knights trying to move up the hill, whatever range they have, totally ineffective as a consequence of my positioning. I'm going to... Okay, they just have those crossbowmen at the moment, but who knows what they will get later. But we're just going to keep on... Okay, our horse is down. This is a disaster. But we still may be able to rejoin our men. Remember, it's really hard for their cavalry to get any sort of traction here. Now, I believe their reinforcements have not yet arrived, so we're just 
holding this hill very handily. And our Unsullied are really proving their worth in this battle today. And this patrol is going to wish it never messed around with us. Hopefully we will get rich enough from this battle to do something else. And it's fine. And we're all drawing back into line. Their reinforcements have in fact arrived. Pretty tense stuff. I am looking for a horse. And I think, I think all the horses that I would have available to me are dead. Which means I'm going to order them to dismount and I'm going to take this horse. We order them to mount to a five. They're mostly not the worst for the wear. Okay, these are men. Okay, I guess it must have been just an unhorsed knight, or two. More mounted archers coming in and dying. More knights going unceremoniously to their end. In this battle we see definitely the supreme importance of good positioning. Another one of their mounted archers down. Now, now the battle is 59 to 38, and we are going to effect a full charge. And what I'm going to do is come around the side. Oh wow, that is a lot of crossbowmen, and this seems like a bad idea now. But hopefully, my cavalry will come in in enough time to save me from what must be dozens of crossbow bolts. And it looks like I will be able to take this battle outnumbered, though I was, with just really great superior positioning and probably with a bunch of unsullied magic going on. But their infantry is now being broken by mine, and I have cavalry in the back, making sure that those crossbowmen don't get to get all of that great piercing damage onto my troops. Weaving in here. <clears throat> and I guess that is what you get when you mess around with us because we only have three wounded men, and that was, well, a fantastic and convincing victory. Which we gain 11 renown. We're going to. At least a lot of them, in hopes of maybe converting some of these guys. I'm going to access the item pool. Now this isn't going to make us a lot of money, but it is going to be a tiny bit. 444 coins. It's not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. But if we can pick a fight with Lord William Mooton here or something... I guess I could use this opportunity to try to make peace. Surrender or die. We're going to take the field here. And we are going to hope for a similar sort of victory as far as things go. Now, we do outnumber him marginally, so we're going to, to force this issue to him as much as possible. But whoever he has riding out here in front, if they cannot escape in enough time, okay, they're going to be able to get out.
<clears throat> now, none of this does anything about how much money we need to make, but we are going to quite valiantly start running in here. My cavalry and everyone will be following me this way. They're going to be sort of broadsided, but either they will try to charge me, which is fine. They don't have that many knights, only three. Or their ranks will break in some other manner. See, now my cavalry are already really there. We're going to try and flank them this way. We're going to have the infantry charge come around behind them with our cavalry to get as big a front as possible and maybe even kill this knight. Well, dehorse him anyway. You're not the only one with knights, sir. Now, it's really probably stupid for me to be running in there like that. Yeah, you can see my horse already knocked out from under me, but I am confident in my Unsullied, who composed a third of my army. And we're just cleaning this up pretty nicely, although their archers back here are knocking my men around, and I am going to try to be solving that with a heavy hand here. And there's three of them. Many, many dead men. And I have no doubt that they will run him down. And, uh, let's see if we can catch ourselves a uh, lord by the tail. You are my prisoner now. We're going to release a couple of archers. And we're not going to upgrade those people because we cannot afford it. <clears throat> Heavy metal. Chain hauberk. Very nice item only marginally better or more expensive than that battered one, which is fine. We're going to be able to sell that, hopefully, for a significant amount of gold. And then we're going to run over here to Summer Pond as quickly as possible after taking a stop off in Dragonstone to get food and to unload what we have going on right now. We're just selling off that oil, which isn't ideal, but is the best option we have right now. Because we so desperately need money. And we're going to... Oh, well, Summer Pond's looted, that's right. And I guess we're going to go looking for a fight. Okay, the Three Sisters Caravan, that seems like a perfect fight to pick, if we can catch them. Okay, a lot of debt again, but... Alright. Won't get anyone from them without a fight. I disagree. Now we're going to take the field, <clears throat> cut them down, and hope that this caravan has a lot of stuff in it so that we will be able to pay our men in the coming week, which is the only thing that I care about right now. I'll get in good with Stannis Baratheon, and we'll take over the world if we have to. Caravan leaders died, and I'm not terribly worried about the rest of them, so we're just going to charge them down.
Now, I usually don't worry too much about damage, but I do need to be wary here. Because if I get knocked out, then I'll have to spend time somewhere else, which I can't really afford to do, but... But it looks like the day is going to be taken by our forces. We're all clamoring in happiness about our victory, and I am quite pleased as well. All right, now we've got a really thick hauberk and a bunch of spices. And 111 coins. Get my own, a strength level, and a level of Weapon Master for more archery magic, Jasper Rivers, Agility, and Iron Flesh with more archery points. Good old Carver will get closer to his breakpoint in Agility. Level up his one-handed further. And my other men will wait. Somehow I have become friendly with the Westerlands. I'm just going to go right through those siege lines and go to the marketplace. Sell off a bunch of spice. Not my bread, though. And buy this grain. Left to leave 48 to 2. Well, well. <clears throat> I guess this is where our mistakes catch up with us. They have 157 to our 13. My CPU is spiking. All we can do. Let's go for glory, but nothing to be had. The heavy horse riding us down. Nothing to do but lose. We surrender and are taken prisoner. I managed to escape and yet am totally within enemy territory. I still have my weapons, still have some gold, but I believe this is the end of the line for Lyra Dark. So we're going to take an action and retire from adventuring. And here's what happens. Only too late do you realize that your money won't last. It won't take you too long to fritter away with little you've bothered to save and you up a penny list. You're from Tavern Tower, even blagging drinks from indulgent patrons, but only with war stories that no one ever believes. And that is the end of Lyra Dark <coughs> and her adventures. And next time, I won't be so careless and make everyone in the world angry at me, including the people that I work for. No, it is going to be a long road back up to playing again. We're just going to delete this game right here. And when we come back, it will be a new character creation and a new episode of A Clash of Kings. This is Tarquin. Thanks for watching.